Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Chellen and this is Fandom and Why. Thank you guys for joining me and to all the subscribers that's always there. Thank you guys for coming back and thank you guys for joining me for this particular video. Now for this video is different. This is a, a miniature balloon garland with the backdrop slash bouquet. So these are all five inches with very different colors and we will put the sizes color and where to get this balloons in the description down below please check that out so this is inflated to 3.5 or 8.89 centimeter so this is right there and then there's another sizes that inflated so this is three inches or 7.62 centimeter and the smallest one is 2.5 or 63.35 centimeter so I just use the palm and then I put it right here so three inches and then you just have to tie this on so what we're gonna do is gonna pinch and then you make a twist so it doesn't matter if one side is smaller than the other because this is gonna be in a miniature garland. Okay, I'll pair this up with this little one. So we have a different video tutorial if you wanna see one of this, check that out. But this is how you do it. So once it's in, I'm gonna tie this just like that so now you have your miniature balloon quad make another one as i said no particular size on how you do your pinching So now this is your quads and your quads. So you just have to tie this together, find one of the end of your balloon and one of the end right here. So attach and then connect them. Now it becomes a cluster of balloon. So just like when you make a big garland, the only difference is this is tiny. All right guys, so I have this foam board right here I got this at a Dollar Tree store and I put the circle right here using our balloon sizer and I use 14 inches or 35.56 centimeter right here and I just like put a line trace the pattern and then use your exacto blade or exacto knife or this one and then just trace There you go, put this on the side. So I also have one here, this is 20 inches. So five, five by 20. There you go. And I have this as well, this is your, this is 10 and a half. So what I did, I used this one. So I made a line right here so this is actually the size is seven inches and on this side is two inches so I will cut this and I'll put this on the back of our backdrop so I will cut out two of this And then just trace the other one. All right guys, so we got this, I apologize. After this, I realized that it's not gonna be like this shape. So I will make a cut right here around 2.5.
So after we do this, we will use another board. We'll put this on the back. Back of our thing. Put it like that to support. So I will glue this together using our glue gun. So guys, now that this is dry, I'm gonna make a little cut right here. So using our exacto blade or knife, we'll make a cut. like that so I will put this here okay so we will put some glue and we'll glue this on here right on the center so this will be on the back side okay so now back to our 20 inches foam board we will cut this in half so it's off to the side because our balloon is gonna start from here going up to here Okay guys, so it's not quite done yet, but we're almost there. So this is all dried up at the back. Right. So now we will punch a hole right here. One, two, three, four, and pot five. So I use toothpick or you can use um, any sharp points, pointy points like um, screwdriver or something like that. So punch a hole. So this is where we're gonna put our 260 cube. So we have our 260 cube and it's white. You cut this in half. So all you need to do is put it through the hole. you make a nut there you go guys at the back and on the front so this is where we're gonna stick our balloons so this one right here as you can see I put the 260 Q so we'll just attach this here, just like when you're making balloon garland. So attach this here. I use the biggest one first. So I'll put this. And I'll attach this. So it's not going nowhere. So we're going that direction. Touch it to one of your ends.
We'll put one here. Then step back and look at your work. All right, so I'll attach this using our 260Q. If it's more sturdier, I'll connect this to our other collar. And then I'll pull more green on this side. Do the same thing, connect it with your 260Q. Oh, there's one here. You can connect. And then as I said, you can always arrange that afterwards. Okay, so I'll put one here. There you go guys, it's finally done right here. So it's time to put our flowers. So this is actually came from a bouquet, so I pulled them all up and we'll attach the little flowers here. Now it's time to personalize our balloon bouquet slash balloon garland miniature balloon garland and we'll put the name right here on the background all right guys this is finally done i hope you like this and this is our miniature Garland, balloon garland with the backdrop right here, slash birthday balloon bouquet. So this is the side view, as you can see, back view, and like that. So it's pretty sturdy and light, and you can hand this to anyone. You can use this not just for anniversary, birthday, but also engagement or baby shower, any kind. So if your client cannot afford the big garland you can advise them to um, do this one instead you can they can save a lot of money and it's still like a garland but it's just a miniature garland i came up with this idea last night and hope you guys like this and if you do please give us a thumbs up like and subscribe and give us your thoughts and if you were to make this one let us know how much would you charge please let us know give us your thoughts in the comments down below and once again, this is Ben Mom in Hawaii, and we will see you guys in our next video. I hope you like this and learn something from this channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!